King in the castle, king in the castle. <laughs> ah, greetings, friends. Brandar has returned, I suppose. It is still 4 a.m. in the morning, uh, but my bed seems to have been taken by a wood elf. So I shall uh, take some things of my own. Oh, silver. Ah, yes. I take this as well. Ah, and I was uh, thinking about the Mages Guild. There's quite an interesting book there as well about about alchemy, which I might like to take a look. Oh, so low on lockpicks. Is it going to work? One more, one more. Come on. Ah! You've done it, Brandar. You've done it. Yeah, cure disease, grounding. Hmm, speed, yes. And Harada. I don't know of this ingredient. Is this a plant? It looks like a plant. And some brandy. Hmm. It might not hit the same spot as skooma, but uh, I think I might give it a try. And let's us have a look in this book. The Origin of the Mages Guild. The idea of a collection of mages, sorcerers, and assorted mystics pooling their resources and talents for the purpose of research and public charity was a revolutionary concept in the early years of the Second Era. The only organization then, closest in name and structure to what we know today as the Mages Guild, was Pasigic, the Pasigic Order of the Isle of Arteum. At the time, magic was something to be learned by individuals, and at most within intimate covens. Mages were, if not actual hermits, uh, usually just quite solitary. The Sigic Order served the rulers of Somerset Isle as counselors and chose its members through a complex, ritualized method not understood by outsiders. Its purposes and goals likewise went unpublished, and detractors attributed the worst evils as the source of the Order's powers. Actually, the religion of the Old Order could be described as ancestor worship, an increasingly fashionable philosophy in the Second Era. When Ga Vanus Galarian, a Sigic of Arteum and student of the famous Lechis, Iachis? Is that an I or an L? What the hell is happening? <laughs> Began collecting magic users from around Somerset Isle, he attracted the animosity of all. He was operating out of the urban center of First Hold, and there was a common and not entirely unfounded attitude that magical experiments should be conducted only in unpopulated areas. Even more shocking, Galarian proposed to make magical items, potions, and even spells available to any member of the general public who could afford to pay. No longer was magic to be limited either to the aristocracy or intel intelligentsia. Galarian was brought before Iachis and the king of First Hold, Rylus VII, and made to state that the intentions of the fraternity he was forming. The fact that Galarian's speech to Rylus and Iachis was not recorded for posterity is doubtless a tragedy, though it does afford opportunity for historians to amuse one another with speculations about the lies and persuasion Galarian might have used to found the ubiquitous organization. The charter, at any rate, was approved. Almost immediately after the guild was formed, the question of security had to be addressed. The Isle of Arteum did not require force of arms to shield it from invaders. When the Sigic Order does not wish someone to land on the Isle, it and all its inhabitants simply become insubstantial. The new Mages Guild, by contrast, had the higher guards. Galarian soon discovered what the Tamriel and nobility had done for thousands of years. Had known for thousands of years. Money alone does not buy loyalty. The Knightly Order of the Lamp was formed by the following year. Like a tree from an acorn, the Mages Guild grew branches all over Somerset Isle and eventually the mainland of Tamriel. There are numerous records for superstitious or sensibly fearful rulers forbidding the guild in their domains, but their heirs or heirs heirs eventually recognized the wisdom of allowing the guild free reign. The Mages Guild has become a powerful force in Tamriel, a dangerous foe if a somewhat disinterested ally. <laughs> There have been only a few rare incidents of the Mages Guild actually becoming involved in local political struggles. On these occasions, the Guild's participation has been the ultimate decider in the conflict. As begun by Vanis Galarian, the Mages Guild as an institution is presided over by a supreme council of six archmagisters. Each guild hall is run by a guild magister, assisted by twofold council, the magister of In Incabula? Incabula? Incuabula. I can't say that word. <laughs> and the master at arms. 
The Master of Incabula presides over additional council of two mages, the Master of Academia and the Master of Scry. The Master at Arms also has a council of two, the Master of Initiates and the Palati Palatinius, the leader of the local chapter of the Order of the Lamp. One does not need to be a member of the Mages Guild to know that this carefully contrived hierarchy is often nothing more than a chimera. As Vanus Galarian himself said bitterly, leaving Tamriel to travel to other lands, the Guild has become nothing more than an intricate morass of political infighting. As most things do. Ah, it does make me worry just a bit about magic, uh, reading how nervous people are. Perhaps Brandar should not use magic so heavily. But it is quite convenient, all things considered, friends. Storage chest? Nothing for me here. What a shame, that. Little chest. Nope, nope, nope. Other little chest. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, some gold in the sack. Don't mind if I do. I think I was also looking at this book. Dwemer History and Culture. Hmm... This is more history, more history. I want to hear a, a story. Or perhaps learn something practical. Something that can be applied today. Akavir, Less Rude Song. I think we have read the Less Rude Song. I do like it quite a bit, to be completely honest. Fundaments of Alchemy. Hmm. Often overlooked by aspiring mages, alchemy is a time-honored, rewarding discipline that can change the lives of those who master it. It is difficult and often dangerous to advance one's knowledge of the materials used in al alchemical formulas, but continued study and hard work will, in the end, reward the alchemist greatly. Before success can be achieved or even attempted, the basic alchemist must understand the basic principles in his craft. Many items in our world, mostly organic in nature, can be broken down into more fundamental essences with magical properties. The more skilled the alchemist, the more properties of an ingredient can be harnessed. Combining the essences of two or more ingredients can result in the creation of a potion, which one may then drink. Legend has it that a truly great alchemist can brew potions from a single ingredient, a feat well beyond the capabilities of most. The alchemist's potion can have several effects depending on the ingredients used, and not all of the effects are beneficial. In many cases, recipes result in a potion with a mix of positive and negative effects. It is up to the alchemist to determine which recipes yield the best results. It is also worth noting that potions can be created to have only negative effects effects and be used as poisons. This practice is not recommended by the author, and this text shall not discuss potions, such potions further. Warcraft is in fact amateur alchemy. Eating an ingredient requires grinding it against the teeth, which occasionally releases its simplest essence and results in a fleeting effect on the eater. Warcraft has never been as strong a result as the potion created using the proper tools. The proper tools, the mortar and pestle, is the alchemist's most essential tool, and without it, no ingredient can be correctly prepared for use in the potion. The budding alchemist is advised to keep a mortar and pestle on hand at all times, and become comfortable with its use early on. The simple grinding of an ingredient is the most fundamental step in brewing potions. When properly ground, the petals of the red wart flower yield a powder that can, when mixed correctly with another ingredient such as ginseng, create a potion to cure poisons. This is one formula that many alchemists are quick to learn and retain, as mistakes in potion mixing often require its use. The advanced alchemist has other tools at his disposal to improve the quality of his potions. A retort can be employed to purify the mixture, improving the positive effects of a potion. Washing the mixture through an alembic helps to distill the potion, reducing any negative effects. And a calcinator can be used to burn away impurities in the mixture, increasing the potion potency of all the potion's effects. While these apparatuses Apparati? Yeah. Are not <laughs> necessary to create potions. It is advised they be used wherever possible. Ingredient combination. A potion is only as good as its ingredients. Only those with identical effects may be combined to make a potion. Up to four ingredients may be successfully used in a single potion. As the alchemist gains skill in preparing ingredients, new properties may be discovered and can be used in creating potions. While this can be an exciting time expanding the alchemist's repertoire, he should take care to check carefully which effects his potions will contain when he is done brewing. Many established recipes may have new results, not all of which are beneficial. And I think I have experienced that. A couple of the potions that I made uh, had some 
some negative effects to them. You know, a little loss of health, things like this. Oh yes, we know about this assassination as well. I can't quite remember how to get out of this place. Shouldn't be that hard, honestly. Perhaps it's this door? No. A locked door. This is the one. Yes, quite a confusing layout you have here, I suppose. Unless it is not the first time you've been here. Hi there. I, I bet these wrong, people live here. But it seems to me there's something they know shady the layout. going on at the Oak and I should ask them, but I am a bit embarrassed. Ah, friends, after some some lovely reading, it is time to start our day. Ah, friends, stepping out into the world, start of a brand new beautiful day. I'm quite grateful. Ah, it was a wonderful rest we had until it was interrupted by the call of nature. You know, many races in Tamriel, in Morrowind as well, tend to revere signs of nature. The High Elves, for instance, uh, identify with eagles, you know, eagle high. I kind of get that. What is Brandar's spirit animal? I'll give you one guess, friends. It is a cat, yes. <laughs> Castle Coral Barracks. Hmm. And what is here? Great Hall. Oh, I should like to have a look. Well, it is quite great in here. Hewn from stone. Ah, smooth to the touch. Truly a master artisan must have worked on these bricks. Hmm. Could I? Should I? Haha. -ha. And there's nothing for me, of course. Yes, just as I suspected. This must be uh, where the servants dwell. They don't have much to their name, so I should leave them to it. Ah, oh, and the throne. The throne of coral. Should I get in trouble if I sit in it? Oh, it couldn't hurt just for a minute. Ah. Oh, you over there, do this, do this. Oh, you over there, do this, do this. King in the castle, king in the castle. Oh shit, he's coming. Hello, um, I wasn't doing anything. Just, uh, having a nice look around. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. What is that? Could I have this? Would you mind? If I just borrowed this for a second? I suppose not. Thank you so much. I shall, uh, pair this with the Cyrodiilic brandy that we found. And uh, we shall have a good time, I do think. Mystery of Talara, V5. I have not read V1 through 4, so I will not bother. Hmm. Oh, gold. Hmm. Oh, I should get in lots of trouble if I walk out of the castle with my pants jingling and jangling. Ah, but it was a good decision to wear pants. Because then you can stuff goodies inside of them. Oh, he is... He is on How patrol. It? Oh, it's going well. Thank you so much for asking. I think Brandar made the right call there. Well, it is nice to see you, Castle Coral. Pardon me, Coral Guard. <laughs> Standing right in my way. I know you have a... A watch. A watch path to protect from people, but not people like Brandar. Brandar is friendly. He's full of fun and love for everyone. Ah, the sun comes up. Ah, it's a good time. A good time to be alive, friends. Hmm, I must wonder what is down this way. Hello, hello? Velena Dorton's house. Yes, can't say I'm familiar. Now we are back with the Mage's Guild. 
Oh, one big circle it was. Hmm. Seems to be quite a few houses around here. Who lives in this big one? Francois. I think I did know that. Perhaps coming into town, I had a look. Hmm, the oak and cross here. Let's have a look, see if I can get some arrows, maybe? Ah, and a lovely woman All runs right. the desk. Welcome to the Oak Encrosure. This one is Talisma, your hostess. Our rooms and food are at your disposal. Greetings, Talisma. I am called Brandar. Do you have some things for trade, perhaps? Need a bite to eat? Maybe something to wash it down with? Hmm. Quite some offerings you have. I have some offerings too, if perhaps you would like. Yes. I have some poisons. I don't know if you are uh, in the market for that. Mm, corn, nightshade. Yes, I'm hesitant to part with any of this. I'm so I sorry to waste your time. Your business. Yes. Quite lovely to meet you. Goodbye. I hope to see you around. Mm, I did not think this was an inn. But, no matter. No matter. Oh my. Is this the temple? Renoir's books? Hmm. I should like to stop in a bookshop. Chapel of Stendar! Yes, we can pray for forgiveness. Srendar, please forgive me. Brandar did some naughty things. Oh. Hello to you, How crazy hair man. Fantastic. Thanks for asking. Hmm. Great. Interesting. Good thing. Be oh. seeing you. Yes. Hi. Hi Stop there. the landing. Yes. Rejoice through faith. Your afflictions are banished. Thank you so much, Sandar. Ah, one of my favorite gods. Yes. It can't. Although I am of the opinion that he is uh, more of a cat, more of a cat than they have depicted there. Ah, who can blame them? Hmm. Ugal Bellet's house. Everything seems locked up tight. Renal Germain. What is this? Nothing? Just a hole in the wall? End of the path? Hmm, that's kind of pretty. But I'm quite disappointed by end of the path. Brandar does not deal with, with well with end of the path. Hmm. And this is certainly the poor section of town. I should not like to dig through their belongings. That is just rude, do you understand? Hmm. I do rather enjoy coral. It's certainly better than skin grad, at least in the fact that it offers some uh, magical Hello. things. I don't think we've oh met. Are you new in town? I am, just passing through. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. I'm always glad to meet someone new. Welcome. I'm sure my mother would be glad to meet you as well. Ooh, kinky. Tell me about your mother. Is she pretty? My mother owns Northern Goods and Trade in Coral. Ah. Do you have any rumors? We're all talking about the... No, 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 no. Not that. All right. Thank you so much Farewell. for your uh, offer to go and do the shop, which is right here. I suppose I should go meet her mother. It was such a nice offer. Ah, they seem to enjoy art in this town quite a bit. I have not seen so many paintings and things stacked about in other places that I have ventured. Hmm, not much in the chest. Hello! Only the finest wares to buy and barter at Northern Goods and Trades. I'm Sidneus, the proprietor. How can I help you? Hello, Sidneus. I am called Brandar. Uh, can you tell me a bit about coral? If I don't have what you need, you might try the other coral merchants. Renoir's has books, fire and steel for your armor and weapons. Mm. I like armor and weapons. And, uh, is there anything else that you could tell me? An old cleric with that name comes in now and then. Lives southeast of town on the Black Road at Wainon Priory. Wainon Priory. 
Perhaps I should visit this cleric. Bye. Yes. Lovely to meet you. Quite a humble little shop you have here. It's adorable! Thank you so much! Goodbye! <laughs> Southeast. Outside of town, she says. Outside of town. Okay, we can go Hiding outside citizen. of town. Ah. Come on, Richard. Can we avoid that bear? I do hope so. Leave me alone, bear. Leave me alone. Ah, crumbling mine. Interesting. Randar's curiosity is piqued. Hmm. There is always goods in a mine. Hmm. Perhaps we should go down and see some spirit animals in the mine. But first, I must speak to this Joffrey. <sighs> be good, Richard. Daddy will be back soon. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you. My friends.